need some help. So stay tuned. Hello, this is Ruba Conmat. Thanks for joining today. Hey, we're going on an adventure down at Tar Hollow, and I just want to give you some insight on who I'm going with two other Jeepers. First one is a, a JK two door stock hard rock version, stock suspension and tires. So he is set. He's got some recovery equipment. Then the second Jeep we're going with is a, T, a 2006 TJ two door. It's lifted and he's got some upgraded suspension. And then, of course, I have my. Uh, 2017 Jeep JK four-door stock hard rocks stock suspension added some other features as you can see the roof rack and things during this overland outing um, as you can see it's very wet outside and it had rained for a couple days uh, before we went so today it was kind of spitting snow and, and it was very wet as you can see driving through the pool right there Again, this is just new opportunity to gain experience in wet conditions as I plan you know, my future of overlanding not only just in Ohio but throughout the country and expanding my capabilities. So I appreciate these other Jeeps going along with me and they were kind of the more of the experts and I was in training. So hope you enjoy the adventure as I share the highlights of this journey. crossing Let me know what I hit, Jason. thing about this trip is we made a lot of water crossings. I wish they were some of them were deeper, but it's just fun to go through them anyways as creeks kind of wash through the road. In a few places there are actually like serious V cuts in the ground just like down and up with not much distance in between as you can see the the Rubicon Hard Rock two door, you know, went through it fine. It had a good articulation. Here I go. As you heard, a couple times when I'd go through an obstacle, my uh, rear or front tires would rub against the wheel well. Look at this water crossing now.
As you can see, my articulation is pretty good with the stock Jeep, and I can, you can see my front dryer tire dropping, my back tire going up. I might rub the wheel well a couple times, but really impressed with the, the stock suspension. With this particular obstacle in the summer, you know, I found it to be easier. Now I'm going, going to try it now when it's real muddy. And what's the problem is you have to keep your passenger side up on the up on this bank so you don't slide down into the deep crevice and get high centered. So you'll see what happens to me. At this point, my rear tire slid down into that deep crevice, so I'm kind of laying sideways with my passenger side up, tire up, and then I try to move and keep going to keep my front tire up so it doesn't slide down, but then you'll see what happens. Hold the line. Your back wheel is dropped in, that's why you're sliding sideways. So, what should I do? As I'm kind of high centered, I uh, didn't have my front lockers on, I had my rear lockers on. So I did made an attempt with just my rear lockers with no success and then I moved forward with my front lockers on and was able to get out, as you can see. You just gotta be able to remember what tools you have with your Jeep, what it provides, and that you really can almost do anything. That's what it makes so exciting when you have, have a Jeep Rubicon. One thing we noticed is the tires, right? So the Jeep in front of me, the, the JK Hard Rock has the mud terrains on it and it did well in that last obstacle where it did not slide in. It was able to keep itself up on the bank while my all terrains, I have all terrains slid in. The TJ has all terrain tires too and he slid into the crevice as well. But since he had a higher lift, it was easy for him to get out and didn't get high centered on the rear axle like I did when I started out when I first dropped in. So the tires do matter. So when you're in Ohio and you're driving a lot of mud, which there is a lot of a mud and wetness in Ohio, so it might be best to have mud terrains versus all terrains for this type of environment. Perfect landing. So one thing I will say though about my tires, they're the Procomps All-Terrain Sports and uh, they did very well. I mean I wasn't super disappointed or anything like that. Even in the, when it was dry and we went during the summer, did fine, had no issues. And you'll see here I slide in but so did the Jeep in front of me because uh, the mud is just so wet and didn't have, couldn't hold. So, but I never did get stuck or had any really super concerns. And one thing I like about overlanding, it's not all about like going through mud and all those sorts of things, but it's just taking a look, you know, like this view here, it's just gotta remember what you're driving through and where you are and it's just a beautiful sight to experience as you, you know, traverse these roads. One thing I learned, you never get tired of water crossings and that's one thing, this is really the first time I really did several water crossings and uh, some of them were deeper than others, but it's just a great way to, again to grow your experience and know-how and just making sure that you can cross them. 
This by far was probably the most treacherous portion of our overlanding trip today because it's real muddy. We're getting kind of forced to aim toward the cliff. I mean, it's a pretty steep drop off as we went and you'll see that. And then trying to keep out of the rut and keep our Jeeps angled toward the steep drop off. But it was fun once we got through it. Focus on the blue Jeep right now. Well, your, your wheel is about two feet off the ground. We make it down just fine the rest of the way, down to a, a creek that we're gonna drive up where there's a small waterfall we get to climb up. I know, I gotta admit it's kind of small, but it's pretty fun when it's your first time, right? Come on, that's great. We have another group coming, we're on Macedonia Church, now coming down toward the church. We were coming up from the church and we are turning around to head back down the church, so we should be good. Thanks. Well, we're kind of heading back down the creek. We're going down the waterfall here. As I come down this little waterfall, you know, you also heard us on the on our um, radios, and it's important that you share where you are and which way you're heading because we would have been in trouble if we hadn't let people know where we were and they were started heading down this creek road as we were heading up because it's really no place to turn around. Hey, thanks for watching Rubicon Mad Overland. Make sure you like and subscribe and please provide some comments as I continue to try to improve, improve my videos and expand my experiences. God bless.